me. Play this bet. I was trapping you. <laughs> Daniel cost himself by not betting on the flop, not betting on the turn. And then, even though he suspected Chow had two kings, you heard him say it, he still paid off the 80000 Well, this goes to show you even great players like Daniel Negrano can make mistakes. Yeah, nice trap. <laughs> Chow Chang making a nice value bet on the river there. Increasing his lead, he now has 2,700,000. Daniel with a little over 1.6 million. And John Stoltzman on the short stack with a little over 800,000. Oh, I look lost. Action on John Stoltzman. This time he looks down at a little pair of threes. Yeah, and it comes in for 200000 All right, let's take a look at the WPT Hole Camp, sponsored by Michelob Amberbach. Chow looks down at a blackjack. He's got ace jack. The nice starting hand, very solid. All in. He's all in. Oh, boy. Well, he's going to force both Daniel and John to pick up a monster hand here. Daniel quickly folds. Crunch time right back into John's face. I mean, now I, can... now I have a really tough decision because I, I really, I really want to get in coin flip situations with you two. Oh man! You know, is everything go? <laughs> well, I love you heard him. He wants to get in coin flip situations. That certainly is the right strategy for him. Would he risk Daniel picking up a hand? <laughs> for him to win this tournament. He's going to have to take some chances somewhere. Is it going to be here? No, it's not. He's laid it no. down. Well, it's a tough call to make with two threes right there. He opted to wait for a better spot. Everything goes. Well, you can't blame him for making the raise, but this time, Chow just taking the play from him. I don't think I had a coin flip. Everything go. Huh? Well, I am so impressed by Johnny Stoltzman, only 23 years old. Got into this event through a super satellite. That means he only put up $1,000. And here he is going after millions. And that's what's amazing is his father staked him in that satellite. Didn't feel like put up the thousand. They're 50 50 partners in this tournament. Uh, that's uh, one way you, you can pay for your kid's college family. tuition. Really put him in a poker tournament. Uh, you can't regret it too. What kind of dad you want? <laughs> back to the action. Back on Chow. Chow throws away ace deuce. Boy, oh, that's pretty amazing. At the chip leader to fold an ace on the button. And the Negrano this time with queen four. He's going to raise it, makes it 140,000. 140, Johnny with ace five going all in this time. I just limp. I always limp. Daniel quickly folds. Yes, he does. And John picks up the pot. Give this kid credit for 23 years old, Vance. I'm telling you, he's got heart. He's got game. Will a new WPT millionaire barge onto the record books? Find out when the World Poker Tour continues right after this. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We're in Tunica, Mississippi, and we have three remaining here for the $1.5 million first prize. John Stoltzman. Creeping up the leaderboard here. Vince, can Cinderella put on the glass slipper tonight? Just incredible. He is playing great here. Not intimidated by these big superstars. Okay, action right back on Daniel Negrano. Throws away 5 and 10 Woolworths into John Stoltzman this time in the little blind with a queen 10. And he's going to raise it with the queen 10. Comes in for 200,000. Why not? Into the chip leader, Chow. He's got king four hearts. He's got 50,000 in the pot. Cost him 150 more to call. This is a man that plays in the biggest side games in the world. But his kid said, Dad, do you really play poker? We don't believe you. He said, oh, I better start playing those tournaments on TV and prove it. And here he is on the World Poker Tour final table. He's proving it in a great way. Yep, with a great opportunity to take this title. This time, going to make the call with King Four Hearts. Yes, he does. So we're going to have a flop here. You're going to see the flop this time, though. Queen 10 versus King Four. Here's the flop. Well, flop is 9-9-5. Nine, nine, Come on. John Stolzman's gone all in with the Queen High. Go ahead. Go ahead. And Chow abandons ship here. But give this kid credit, Vance for taking the initiative, raising before the flop of Queen High, and then moving in when it comes 995. 
I like to call to me, yeah. Well, Mike, as you know, I mean, whether it's a bad beat or a bad play, <laughs> if you lose point. your cool at the poker yeah. table, you know, you're probably going to lose your money as well. Well, that's true. We call it steaming in the poker world. And our own Shauna Hyatt took a look at how to take advantage of an opponent when they blow their lid in this week's Poker Corner. It's bound to happen. Something goes wrong at the poker table and a player starts steaming. While some players may enjoy the show, the smart ones know the time to strike is when your opponent's hot. Steaming means you have a good hand and then you just get beat. You get angry and you play in the hand you're not supposed to play. You'll see a guy start steaming. After he loses a couple pots, you can almost see that his face gets red. The smoke starts coming out of his ears. He's a little hot and bothered. He starts to move around in his chair a little bit. They get so frustrated that they can't help themselves. They, they try and make back that money they lost. So they'll actually play more hands and they'll gamble a lot more. Oh, Mike, very disgusted. You can't blame him. When you steam, baby, night hand and shoot it. It's looking just like aces. Everybody steams differently. Like Phil Helmuth, you know how he steams? By playing really weak. And he folded his hand. He's like, I can't believe these kids. Don't they know who I am? Show some class and shake my hand, kid. Now jump through the wave. And the pros know when an opponent is steaming, it's time to apply some pressure. I do a lot of steaming, but of course, they know I'm steaming after I lost a big hand. Some people are going to take advantage of me. Ooh. They're going to re-raise me. One thing to be cautious of when you're re-raising someone who's on tilt is they might call you. So you actually want a good hand. So when you catch an opponent steaming, the time is right to take action. But remember, this is poker. It can be dangerous. They can go in with the worst hand and still get lucky. And that's, that's the one way to get off tilt. You put a bad beat on someone else. What a battle we have at Tunica. We have three remaining. Chow Chang still out in front with about three million. Daniel with about 1.1 million. But John with about 990. Yeah, action's going to be on Chow. Extended to queen five and folds. Now it's on Daniel Negrano. Look at this. He's got the ladies, the Hilton sisters, Gabor sisters, whatever you want to call them. It's a huge hand. And he just limps in with it, Vince. He's trying to trap John here. John's got 10-7 off suit. John knocks the table, says, give us a flop. Well, the flop comes 9-8-3. Daniel with the queens. Well, this time Daniel's coming out and betting it. And the interesting thing, this gives an open-ended straight draw to John Stoltzman. I'm all in. John says, I'm all in here. He's gone over the top. He's gone all in. I'm setting a trap. Am I trapped? Now look at Daniel. He says, well, I slow played this. What have I done now? I don't think I can throw this away. Well, I don't think you can either, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got a nine. And I hope that's all you got. Because you know you're in trouble. You need two pair. Daniel's hoping he's got top pair here. He might have two pair. I call. Daniel can't well, get he's away calling. From well, Daniel's going to like it here. He's got two queens. He's up against the opening straight draw. He has a chance to break the young 23-year-old. My favorite hand I'm up against. <laughs> right now, John Stoltzman must catch a six or a jack or two running cards in combination of a 10 or a seven to stay alive in this tournament. Well, we are down to three players. This could be it. Close to heads up action. We're coming right back. Stay with us here on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour, where tonight's Cinderella, John Stoltzman, is all in against poker great Daniel Negreanu. John needs a miracle, or the ball will be over for the young college student. John Stoltzman must catch a six or a jack for two runners in a 10-7 combination to win this pot and stay alive in this tournament. How about a queen? <laughs> Winner's going to take home 1.5 million. Here comes the turn card. Oh. It's a six! Wow! John has done it! He has made the straight! The kid from Memphis and Wisconsin is going to live on and have nearly $2 million worth of chips. Oh, that is just a sick hit for the young 23-year-old. Last card irrelevant. Well, Daniel Negrano getting outdrawn here. And that hasn't happened much lately, but it shows you it can happen to anyone. Daniel taking it well. 
Well, Vince, I got to tell you, yes, he was lucky to catch that six, but I love the play of him going all in. I was hoping he had a nine. He didn't know Daniel had the over pair and was trapping him there. He was thinking Daniel might have had a pair of eights, a pair of threes, maybe a pair of nines, and would lay it down if he went all in. If not, he still had outs, as we say. He still had cards he could catch a straight to win that pot. The college student from Madison, Wisconsin, is on a roll. After winning a $1,000 satellite to enter this tournament, 23-year-old John Stoltzman is in serious contention to be the next WPT millionaire. I'm from Sheboygan, Wisconsin originally. I go to school in Madison. Majoring in philosophy, kind of a pre-poker major, I guess. I was planning on going to law school, and then I found poker. Like many players his age, John's interest in poker started at the movies. I watched the movie Rounders, and I just thought, I can do that. You know, I consider myself a smart guy, and I wanted to just check into the game to see if it was beatable. I got some experience playing on a computer, and then I jumped into the live games, and I was a winner right away. And thanks to his family, John's entry into his first ever WPT event turned into a seat at tonight's final table. I'm here with my dad, and he bought me in. I played a lot of poker against my dad, and we always play each other as hard as we can. We had a deal where we're splitting our winnings for the trip. So I would have gotten 50% of his winnings, and he gets 50% of my winnings. But uh, his winnings are negative. <laughs> What does it feel like to have your son actually in contention to be the next WPT millionaire? Great. <laughs> Exciting. So did you think he could do it? Oh, definitely. He's a, he's a good player. 23-year-old John Stoltzman taking chances. He's a gambler. And I have to tell you something, Daniel Lugrano now circling the drain. Will he have a shot at winning his third WPT title in one season? We will find out. Well, there's such a big difference between third place and first place. Well over a million dollars in real money. Action's going to be on John Stoltzman. This time he's got a six. Well, he makes it 200,000 to go. Chow Ching picks up ace queen. Wow, nice hand by Chow. The last time that John made it 200,000, Chow moved all in with an ace jack off. So here he's got ace queen. I call him. But here he's calling. I don't think I have much choice. And look behind him. Daniel has big slick, and of course he's all in. Well, Daniel was going all in with any two cards. Absolutely. Fortunately for him, he picked up ace king, and right now he's a big favorite to win this pot. Yes, he is, but we also have a side pot between Chow and John. Well, there's 150000 on the side, but Vince, those are tournament chips. You're talking about 400000 in real money. The difference between third and second, and they both want to get rid of Daniel here. Chances are this will be checked down. Well, he's got big slick. Five Five cards to come. And we're still working on the side. Can Daniel survive? He'll triple up if he does so. Here comes the flop. Eight, seven, deuce, all spades. Eight, check. Seven, well, Chow checks. That's Notice that John check. has flopped the nut flush draw. Check. But he's checking. Card. Well, the five of spade comes That's there. That's going to do it for Daniel Negrano. You have two flushes out there. Check. John has made the nuts yet he still checks. They both checked it. Here comes the river. It's a four of diamonds. Chow probably got to think his queen of spades is good right now. And look at this. He's going to make a little value bet here with the queen of spades. Hoping John will call him with something. He wants a little extra frosting. Well, John's not going to call him. He's got the nut flush here. He's got the ace of spades. He said, well, I was going to check it down, but if you're going to bet me, I believe I'll hoist the flag a little here. 400,000. Chow, a very smart player. He knows John can only make that play with the ace of spades. He wouldn't even make it with the king of spades. Uh, queen of spades. That's going to do it for Daniel Negrano. If he wins his third title on the World Poker Tour this season, it's going to be in a future event, not today. Just incredible. <laughs> so close to taking the title. If he doesn't get his queens cracked, he was very close. But right now, he's our third place finisher. You know, that's something we haven't seen much this year. Waving goodbye to Daniel at the final table. He's won every time he's been there so far. 
Uh, what a champion. Daniel Grano going to pick up close to $400,000. Crosses the $4 million in earnings mark on the World Poker Tour. All-time money winner. Daniel, you've won two other final tables for the WPT this season. But what I want to commend you on is being absolutely...